Hi everybody! In this tutorial I'll be showing you what you have to consider for files you're sending us to be printed. In a professional printing workflow it's almost impossible that every page is cut to a 100% at the same line. A huge cutting machine cuts a big stack of papers at the same time. Therefore it can occur that the first sheet is cut exactly but there's quite a small tolerance at the bottom of the batch. As you can see here, this is the page you want to have printed in the end, including register marks on all sides. In between those marks, there's a virtual straight line. This is where our cutter trims the pile of papers. First, we cut the first sheet without bleed. You see, no problem. This next page is sheet number 75 in our stack. The deeper the cutter carves through the stack, the greater the needed tolerance is. And as there is no bleed added to the page, at the end you get thin white edges at one side and on the other side there might be too much trimmed off. Now have a look. This is the page with bleed added. The trimmer may misalign for up to a tenth of an inch to all directions without having white spaces at the end, which are not part of your artwork and will unintentionally be seen. And also have a look here. The result of any printed product you were ever holding in your hands used to be larger when coming out of the printing machine, just like that. This means that you have to add a tenth of an inch to each your designs on each side that does not actually need to be seen. When designing, for example, a page with the final size of 18 inch to 24 inch, you need to add a tenth of an inch bleed to each side of the page. This is what it looked like in InDesign. Here we go. Let's open a new document, enter the proportion and now we add the bleed. Okay, we add 0.1 inch on all sides, top, bottom, left and right. And that's it. As the chain here is closed, all settings are made the same. You don't have to design your product exactly a tenth of an inch over the trimming edge. It may be a lot more, but remember, this tenth of an inch or more extra will be cut at the end. Alrighty, I hope you're aware of the importance of bleed and understand what trimming edge is and what it means for your work. Do you remember that I was talking about you get thin white edges at one side and on the other side there might be too much trimmed off? You also have to keep a distance from the edges for significant parts of your design such as text. This is called margin. This is to ensure, for example, that letters or even words, depending on the size of the typography, is not being cut away. Adjust the margin also to a tenth of an inch, but be aware, even if the margin is okay and the trimmer won't cut the text, text at the edges of a printed product and most of the times looks poor. When you have any further questions, please don't hold up asking and use our blog. I can wait to see you next time and wish you a great day. Bye bye.